These paintings and drawings from high school and college are all work I was doing pre-film school. I was enrolled in illustration, but my real passion was film, and I would watch movies all the time and find literature about the movies I was watching and the filmmakers that were making them. It all just sort of floated around in my head so that when I started to make films, I had an idea of what could be done, what has been done, what is logical to follow. And there's several filmmakers which stand out as principal influences on my work. Stanley Kubrick being at the top of the list, I had seen most of his work by the time I was 10. As I grew to study cinema, his cinematography and his language and philosophy really was etched in my head. The films of Roman Polanski, particularly his student work, he gave me a real idea of where I should be in my stage of development. His use of small sets and small cast really gave me something to shoot for that I could achieve. I had taken from Hitchcock a lot of his designing and structure and pre-production so that the films that would be edited were already preconceived and pre-planned. Not that I was able to do that for every project, but definitely it was an attempt for many. With Scorsese's films, I was drawn in by the expressionistic lighting and the dynamic camera work and the stylized editing. But it was really his love of cinema that most deeply affected me. It made it okay to be that passionate about it. Robert Altman's films, I was able to see how someone could put a lot of faith in the actor and let them bring things to a character that you don't plan and that you don't tell them to do, that they show you and you just capture with your camera. The thing I find most fascinating about Akira Kurosawa's films is the impact that it's had on a generation of filmmakers worldwide. It really shows that cinema isn't defined by any one regional cultural dialect, but that it's universal and it is its own language. Seeing the films of George Lucas and Steven Spielberg as a young kid in the theater, I started to understand that the director has a personality outside of just the film he creates. And seeing both of them as producers for other filmmakers really gave me the idea that as a director and producer, I can make more than just my own films. I can help other people make theirs. One of the things I used to do with my father when he had time off in the hospital was watch movies. And one thing I remember very vividly was seeing Godfather 1 and 2 cut chronologically for TV set up a tradition of watching the Godfather films and other films by Pacino and De Niro as sort of family activities. When I got to college, I was able to explore the darker side of cinema and look at the surreal and subversive films of David Lynch and David Cronenberg. I really admired David Lynch's use of sound and texture and thought that David Cronenberg's philosophy and special effects were very unique and very bizarre. When I was in high school, the film criticism of Roger Ebert was definitely a guide as to what movies I should see. It also gave me a knowledge and a vocabulary on how to speak about film. The other greatest influence on my artistic storytelling sensibility has been the album covers, lyrics, and music of Rush.